All right, what's going on, Go Out Ninja? Uh, obviously, this is a video response to your video for Dragon Ball Jinjutsu. Um, after watching your video and seeing some of the points you made, um, the argument about is Snow Leopard just an upgrade on Leopard and is Windows 7 just a service pack for Vista? It depends on how you're looking at it, you know, your definition of service pack and all this other stuff. Windows 7, you know, they changed a lot of the UI stuff. They changed a lot of problems that were in Vista. So, but it's at its core, it's still Windows Vista. You know, it's still using the same driver model. It's still using a lot of the same legacy ways that Vista works. So at the core of the kernel level, it's still Vista. So changing a few UI things, changing how Arrow is interacted with, change how you know UAC is dealt with, you know, I can see an argument for both sides of it. And you take something like back when Microsoft released Vista, I would say that yes, that was, you know, that is a new operating system. You know, they completely, you know, got rid of stuff. I mean, you're talking deep kernel changes, uh, UAC. Um, there's a lot of ways things are done that weren't done Windows XP. And you know. Windows 7 is built on top of that. That's you know, it's no different than Windows NT technology that powered you know XP and ME uh, NT that powered Windows XP. It's technology is built on the same thing. So it really depends on what you're looking at. You know, Snow Leopard, on the other hand, is you know completely rewritten a 64-bit application. Now you're talking. New APIs. You're talking deep modifications to the mock kernel here. I mean, so if you're, go it all depends on your definition of what an OS, you know, upgrade is a new OS. Because if you're talking new OSs, what we've gotten from Microsoft and Apple, every integration, it's just an upgrade of the way they do things. You know, if you're talking new OSs, new OS is like, you know. Linux, Solaris, you know, those are new OSs. Those are new ways of doing things. You know, they're not consumer OSs. They're OSs that are always changing. They're always, something that's always different on them. You know, a few UI changes, some, you know, kernel mods. Can you really call that a new OS? So it's really up to interpretation on how you, what you consider a new operating system. You know, at the core of it, though, it's still all based off the same technology that came out of those companies. So, is it really a new operating system, or is it just a revamp of ways that those companies are doing things? Yeah, you know, that's just how I see it anyway. Um, personally, I say I love Leopard. Uh, I run it on my iBook. Obviously, like, with it being a power PC, I can't upgrade to uh, Snow Leopard. So, but you know, I love Leopard. Um, I've test drove Windows 7. Um, it's much an improvement over Vista. Unfortunately, I have to run Vista on one of my main machines now. You know, that's what happens when you run out of XP licenses. Um, and it's not the best OS. From Windows, it's not the worst OS. It's not ME, but it's still not XP. So, I don't. I use what works, and quite frankly, these whole debates after a while just get tedious and stupid. I don't use what works for you guys. So, I call all these changes, they're not a new OS. Leopard, Snow Leopard, 10.5, 10.6, it's an upgrade. Windows Vista, Windows 7, it's built off the same technology, it's an upgrade. 